Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Mina. In this video, I will introduce you to the rib stitch and I'll show you how to work the one by one rib and the two by two rib stitch. Feel free to skip to any part of the video. I've included the timestamps in the description. Okay, so the rib stitch consists of these vertical columns and it is made by alternating knit stitches and purl stitches. So as the name implies, a one by one rib is made by alternating one knit stitch and one purl stitch. And the two by two rib is made by alternating two knit stitches and two purl stitches. So uh, these are the most common rib stitches. Um, but you can make the columns as wide as you like. You can make a 3x3 three three rib or a 10x10 ten ten rib or whatever you like. So ribbing creates this stretchy fabric, as you can see. They're both pretty stretchy. Um, so it's useful for things like sweater cuffs or waistlines or beanies or anything that you want a little bit of stretch for. Um, it's also just pretty so you can use it uh, because it looks nice as well like I've done with this scarf which is a three by three rib. Okay so to make a rib stitch you knit the knit stitches and you purl the purl stitches. So if you're a new knitter you might find it a little bit hard to distinguish between the knit stitches and the purl stitches. I know it took me quite a while um, to be able to do this. So let's just take a closer look. So we'll take a look at this. We'll take a look at this one by one rib first. So you can see that these columns here, they are the knit stitches and the little um, bits in between, uh, they're the purl stitches. They get a little bit sort of lost um, between the knit stitches, but you can see them if you pull it out like that. And if we actually take a look at the stitches themselves, you can see you can see they look a little bit uh, different so the knit stitches look like a little V and the purl stitches look like a little bump like that let's take a closer look so there there's a purl stitch there it looks like a little bump and then the knit stitch next to it looks like a V and some knitters even describe these, uh, they describe the knit as a scarf. So if you imagine this little stitch here as a head, it looks like someone's got a scarf um, around their neck, whereas the pearl looks like they've got a noose around their neck. Um, so some people visualize it like that. Uh, that might be helpful for you. Um, so, that's the one by one. We'll take a quick look at the, the two by two here. So same thing. These are the columns here. That's the, the knit, the two knit stitches. And then in between, we have the, the two purl stitches. So we'll take a closer look again so we can see the two knit stitches there with their little scarves around their neck and then the two pearl stitches with their nooses. All right, so I'm gonna show you now um, how to do these two stitches after casting on. Okay, so let's start with the one by one rib. So when you're casting on your stitches, you can cast on uh, any number. I've cast on 20. Um, 
and we're going to start with a knit stitch. So we knit the first stitch and then we purl the next stitch. So bring the yarn to the front and purl. And then we take the yarn to the back and we knit the next stitch. Then bring the yarn to the front and we purl the next stitch. So we just keep alternating knits and purls for the entire row and that's all you have to do. So you do have to keep uh, making sure that you're changing where the working yarn is coming from. So at the back for knit stitches and then at the front for purl stitches. Okay, so I'm just going to purl my final stitch here. And we've done our first row. So let's just turn this around and have a look. So one thing I didn't realize for a long time as a new knitter is what is a knit on one side is a purl on the other side. So our last stitch in our row was a purl stitch just then. So now that we've flipped it over, it's a knit stitch on this side. So the first one is a knit here, and then the next one is a purl, as you can see by this little bump. And we've got a knit, and we've got a purl. So when you're knitting the rib stitch, you can just keep track of whether you start with a knit or a purl for each row, but you can also take a look at the stitch to figure out where you're up to. So this is our second row. You can see the first stitch is a knit, so we start by knitting this stitch. The next stitch is a purl, so we purl the next stitch. And then we just alternate knits and purls as we go along the row. Once you get into a rhythm, uh, you don't have to think too much because you're just alternating. But if you do get confused, then you just look at the stitch, see where you're up to. Okay, so this is a knit stitch. So I know, okay, I have to knit this stitch. Yep, this is a purl stitch, so I have to purl this stitch. And so on, until you reach the end of the row. Please excuse my chip nail polish as well. <laughs> Okay, so now that's our second row done. And you can see, you can already see a little bit the ribbing taking shape. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the 2x2 two two rib. Okay, so for the 2x2 two two rib, uh, you will need an even number of stitches. So I've cast on 20 again. And this time we're alternating two knit stitches two purl stitches. So I'm going to knit two stitches. And then I'm going to bring my yarn to the front. stitches okay now to knit two more stitches And the last two, I'm going to pull these two stitches. Okay. So let's turn this around. And like I said, with the one by one uh, rib, um, what is a knit on one side is a purl on the other and vice versa. So the last two stitches we knit were purl stitches. So on this side you can see there knit stitches. So we've got two knits there, two purls there, two knits there, two purls there. Okay. So I'll just do the next line with you as well. The first two are knit stitches, so let's knit them. And the next two we purl. So bring the yarn to the front. Bring the yarn to the front and purl those two stitches.
okay and the last two stitches the last two stitches we purl Alrighty, so there you go. It's a little bit clearer with this one. You can sort of see the ribbing already. And that's how you create one by one and two by two rib stitch. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if there is a tutorial that you'd like to see. Okay, see you next time. Bye.